Hey, our friends, today we're drawing another Pokemon. Which one are we drawing? Parasect. Yeah, we hope you're going to follow along. You need your drawing supplies. We're going to use markers, but you can use whatever you have at home or in the classroom. You also need some paper and some color with. Yeah. All right, you ready to start? Yes. Let's first draw Parasect's eyes right in the middle of our paper, and we're going to draw two circles about this size right next to each other. They're not very far apart. They're kind of close. Actually, I drew them probably too far apart. But that's okay. We're practicing, right? Yeah. So you could draw them a little closer if you want. There you go. Then we're going to connect with a line in between. Kind of looks like glasses now. Yeah. All right. Now let's draw Parasect's head. We're going to draw a curve that starts here. Come out. And we'll draw a little cheek. Then we're going to come around and draw another cheek on the side. Looks like an oval behind the two eyes. Yeah, there you go. Now let's draw another curve underneath. This could be the mouth. I'm, I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now let's draw the first uh, claw over here on the left side. So we're going to draw a curve. We're going to start kind of above the eye and we're going to draw a curve that comes down like this right next to the head. Then we're going to come in and down to the left. Now let's come back up here to the top and we're going to draw a big curve that comes down for the other side. So we're going to start here and we're going to curve around and come down. Maybe about that far. Curve around and back in. There you go. Then we're going to come back up like this and we're going to come right next to the other line that we drew. Then we're on this side, we're going to come down just a little further and then back up. Looks like a small letter V. There's one claw. Let's connect it to Parasect's body. We're going to draw a curve right here that connects to the head. And then we're going to draw another curve coming up and connecting to the head too. All right, there we go. We have one claw. Now we're ready to draw the other claw. And we're going to draw it a little bit different since this is kind of the side view. For the side of the claw, we're going to draw the front of the claw. So let's start right here, right in line with the eye, and we're going to draw a curve that comes like this, almost matches this one over here on this side, like this curve right here. Yeah. And then right at the end, we're going to curve back the other direction. Now up at the top, we're going to come back over here, and we're going to draw another curve that comes out this way. We're going to come all the way down and then connect in so there's a little point down at the bottom. Now right here we could draw another curve that connects on both sides, where the top and the bottom. Nice. Now let's draw the belly. We're going to start here under the chin and we're going to draw a curve that comes over to the right and connects into the claw. Let's draw another curve inside on the belly right here. He's looking really cool. Now we're ready to draw the legs. We're going to draw these cool legs that come out from right here. We're going to come out like this towards the claw. Then we're going to come down about that far. And then a small diagonal line that comes in. Now let's start at the bottom and we're going to repeat that same shape. But look, there's a little point down at the bottom. So it looks like an insect or a crab leg. And we're going to come up and connect back into the body. Okay, let's repeat that same step for another leg, but it's a little smaller. So we're going to start here, come down. Then another line down or bend. And then a short line in, just like we did for that first leg. Now let's repeat the same step for the inside of that leg. We'll come back up and just repeat those same curves into the body. Cool. All right, now let's draw two more legs on the right side. So we're going to start here on the claw and we're going to come out. Then let's draw another diagonal line that comes down to the right. So come down to the right corner. Then we're going to come back in. And then right at the end, let's draw a short line in. 
Okay, now we're gonna repeat the same thing we did over here on the left side, except for the right side. Now we're gonna draw the same shape and same curves coming up like this, and then into the claw. That looks really cool. Okay, let's draw one more leg over here. We'll just start here on the leg, draw a short line out. Then we're gonna draw that same diagonal line coming down to the right, and then down. I love drawing Pokemon, especially the insect ones. Yeah. Or the grass types. They're really cool. Okay, and then we're going to draw the inside of the leg. So we're kind of going fast because we're just repeating the same steps. It kind of just looks like a bug like that. It does. It looks like a really cool bug. Yeah. Now right here, we're going to draw the rest of the body coming up and connecting to that leg. Just a little curve. And we're going to draw the inside of the shell. Let's draw a curve right here that connects to the eye. So it connects from the claw to the eye. Then we're going to connect from this eye over to this claw. And we're going to imagine that going behind the claw right here. And we're going to come down and connect to the leg. Yes. Now this line right here could come maybe up to there. So it looks like it's going behind the claw. There we go. And then we're going to color in both of those shapes black. So we'll color this one in on the left side, this one over here on the right side. Yeah, and both of those. And then this shape over here on the far right. What's he missing? His big shell, it looks like a mushroom. Yeah, it does. <laughs> a big top of a mushroom. Okay, we're gonna start here and we're gonna curve out of the claw and we're gonna curve up and to the right. And let's do the same thing over here. We're going to curve out of the leg and we're going to curve up and to the left. Now we're ready to draw the top of the mushroom or the shell and we're going to connect this curve to this one. Watch this. We're going to start here. We're going to curve up like this, come up really high, curve around, down, and then into this other side. <laughs> it looks like a mushroom. Yeah. <laughs> There you go, around. I love your shell. Let's add one more line for the shell. So see this line right here, it's gonna go behind the legs and you could even draw a little one connecting there and then another line that connects into the body. So I'm gonna do the same thing right here and connect in. Austin, we did it. We finished drawing Parasect. He looks really cool, except we're not completely done. We still need to color it. Yes, my favorite part. We are gonna fast forward, so remember to pause the video at the end to match our same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. Austin, give me five. We did it. We finished coloring and drawing Parasect and he looks super cool. Or she, did you have fun? Yeah. We used our markers to color with, but you can use whatever you have at home. If you have the same biannual set, we used two pinks, but you used one. You used R605 to color the main body of the shell. And then I used R607 to add a little shadow. What color did we use for the spots? Uh, Y107. Yes, our yellow. And then for the body we used? Y713. Yeah, I also added a shadow. Y325. It's this darker brown color to make it look more 3D. And then I used a white color pencil to add highlights on the little pinchers and also on the legs and the face. Oh, and I forgot one more thing. You can use your Sharpie and add an extra line just below this claw for the shell that comes around. Yeah, and then color that in pink. Okay. Also, I think our pink is a little too bright, but that's okay. Yeah. That's the only color we had. <laughs> we did it, Austin. I love your drawings so much. I especially love that they don't look exactly the same. They both turn out awesome. That's because... The most important thing is to have fun. And to... Practice. Practice. Hey, what else could our art friends do to their drawing? They could like add grass and more uh, parasites. Oh yeah, in the background. Yeah. That would be way cool. You could draw them kind of small. You, know, you could draw a whole army of them. That would be really cool. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your parasites. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.